what you're doing with this film, yeah. your story film, yeah. yes. that you had to fund and produce, yeah. you know, your own film as yeah. well. And now, is that set of precedent for you? You're going to always try and, is that something you're probably doing all the time now? Acting and, and taking on that, that kind of behind the scenes mm. role. Yeah, yeah. It's necessary. I think it's, I think, I think it's necessary to try and get behind the scenes and to be a part of the, of the, um, the creative process. And it's necessary. Mm. Yeah, mm. and the decision making. It's necessary. I mean, I did a film um, last year. It was, uh, it was like a psychological thriller called Light Shoulder. And, um, and I just came in, you know, just to act. Mm. I was playing the main part. And they ran into some kind of problems in terms of the um, of the post production and they weren't happy with how it was all going and stuff like that. So so I just said, well, you know, if you guys need any help, or if you're not, you know, sure with, you know, the vision of the film, you need to come have a look at it, you know, I'm available to tell you, you know. So they said, okay, fine. So <laughs> Because they're not very well made. They're not very well made. They're not very well made. Um, the intention is good, and the intention is right, but the execution is very, very poor. But it's getting better. It's getting better. Because the thing is, is that what he said to me was that he said, "Will, because you haven't been at it, you don't really know." But he said there are so many variables to shooting a movie in Africa. Mm -hmm. So many. It's not like here where you where you can give yourself that time. Those guys have like a week. Yeah. A week to shoot, to shoot, edit, yeah. get and it out there. It, right, I learned this last year. But it. like a week is like, how can you make anything decent in a week? It's impossible. It is impossible. Mm -hmm. It's not possible to make something decent in a week. No way. Because if that was the case, then, then you know, we'd all be doing it. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case. But, but for them, you know, it's a, it's a huge money-making industry. But what's happening now, as time is evolving, people are going, hold on a minute, I want to spend a little bit more time with this. Mm -hmm. I want to rush this thing so quickly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want my actors to give me more. I want to have a better composed shot. I want to have a better whatever. Do you know what I mean? And so now, money's starting to come in. And people are going, hold on, let's just slow this whole thing down. Why would I do it in a week? Let's take a month. Let's give ourselves some time yeah. so we can have a re You're going to see a lot more, um, you know, African artists working with Jamaican artists or mm. artists from here. Mm. You're going to see that a lot more. Mm. You know, when I was in um, Zimbabwe, I remember reggae music was huge over mm. there. Mm. Huge. Mm. And I'm not talking about your typical, ah, Bob Marley. I'm talking Beanie Man, I'm mm. talking Elephant Man, all the ladies DJs, all the bashment DJs, mm. tearing it up over there. Mm. Tearing it up. Hip hop, everything. Mm. Big. Mm. But again, because we don't see it, we don't know. Mm. And sometimes you have to go there to go, whoa. But my whole idea about this place has just been completely screwed up now because what I've been fed and what I'm actually seeing, what is two different things. Two completely different things. And that for me was quite refreshing. That was nice mm. in the sense that, you know, there's a lot more, we have more in common than we realise, only because we're not being told. We have a lot more in common. Even when I was in Kenya last year, we have a lot more in common, but again, if you're not told, you don't know.